Carl Rose, um, an interesting question. I, I guess I would use the word scrappy. I'm dyslexic, so that's always made reading and life a bit of a challenge. Tenacious, um, you know, always trying to figure things out. We, we tend to um, work with and, uh, and, and even attract other um, scrappy you know, people that are underestimated. Uh, an underdog, if you will, um, seems to be the, the, the pattern we've had with our, our partnerships and uh, with, with our team as, as we built it over the years. Um, uh, you know, I started the company some 40 years ago. Um, I think we're, I'm entering my 40th year now. Um, and back in uh, 1984, uh, started uh, when I had a phone line installed in my bedroom at home, and um, you know, never really looked back. Um, eventually, you know, moved out, got, had an actual office at some point, which was which is exciting and a, and a big change. Uh, once I finished college, rather than just you know working on the fly. And um, it's just, it's been a really fun trajectory um, being in the entertainment space. Um, it has just been uh, incredibly rewarding. So I'd say, you know, Carl is a, uh, I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Um, I love sports, love entertainment. Uh, couldn't be anything more entertaining or more enjoyable to work in. Um, so yeah, so I'd say. As a young child, I would watch um, uh, soccer, as we call it, uh, or football, as it is in Spain, with my dad. Um, or, uh, wrestling, he enjoyed wrestling, uh, so it's it's been been part of me since uh, six, seven, eight years old. Uh, uh, then I ventured into the you know, more of the the music and entertainment side of, of uh, the industry, um, but have always had a foothold in in sports. And uh, post pandemic, we, we've we decided to expand uh, overseas in Europe, and it's been an incredible journey. Um, you know, that expansion has, has been um, just a lot of fun, uh, meteoric, if, if you will. Um, so yeah, I always felt, uh, you know, entertainment I've always loved, but sports as a, as a whole is probably my, my biggest, uh, yeah. We say in, in, in America, uh, CEO and chief bottle washer. Um, I've done pretty much everything throughout the company, uh, having started it as a one-man operation. Uh, you know, we had I had to do so many things. We say uh, wear so many different hats. Um, so I really don't have anyone on staff working and doing something that I haven't done myself to some extent. Stage front, I would say, is a is a technology company. Um, didn't start out that way, but we're a technology company that just happens to develop technology for the uh, entertainment, sports, hospitality industry. Um, and that's that's been our focus. Um, to be able to leverage technology in this space has been incredibly fun. Uh, things that I've dreamed about for decades, uh, to be able to uh, create them, invent them, um, and evolve that, uh, and then, then really learn from our partners as well and, and have them help to crowdsource, if you will, and help us develop some of the technology that's, uh, that's been really important in the, in, in the space. I, th I think the technology side of it, you know, it, uh, a lot of uh, companies are afraid to embrace change and I think that that's really where we uh, excel. We, we uh, embrace and uh, uh, and run towards change. You know, I often tell my staff that I do not get upset about mistakes. If they make mistakes, it's a good thing. Um, you know, they, if you're not making mistakes, you're not trying very hard, you're not learning. Um, I don't like making mistakes a second time, uh, but otherwise, um, you know, really trying to do something innovative, new and different, um, you're gonna have errors and problems and just gotta get past them and keep moving forward. Um, I think that's probably the biggest difference that we're not afraid to embrace um, change in mistakes. Uh, we've been in sports since we began, um, but our partnerships have evolved tremendously in the last decade. So we've been partnered with um, Matchroom Boxing, um, our first uh, combat sport uh, partnership. So we, we feel a uh, um, you know, very special about those guys being the first in that area. Uh, one championship um, MMA uh, out of um, Southeast Asia, um, and you know, a few others. You know, the La Liga. We've been partnered with the with the league itself for, for four years now. 
Um, and really that opened up doors and really uh, helped us to expand here in Spain and we hope to continue. Yeah, it really is. You know, it's, it's back to the, the idea of us being scrappy. Um, you know, the, our technology team, we call the Phoenix team. You know, uh, feel very, very good about those guys. The Phoenix, it's a bird that comes up from the ashes. And, and uh, uh, I feel, we feel we can, we can help Espanol uh, do that as well. And, uh, you know, take that ride with them back to the first division and beyond. Um, I think the, 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 the fans would be over the moon if we can have even a, a small impact in helping them to make it back uh, and uh, become you know, one of the, the best teams in the league. The, the fan base is unbelievably passionate, right? We, we don't have very many teams in the U.S. that are over 100 years old, is it 122 years old? So that's, that's a new experience um, to see such passionate, passionate fans, you know, fans that have gone to games with their grandfather, their father, uh, from you know, a very, very young age. Um, you know, even the, the staff, as we met them and got to know the staff of Espanol, they're all dedicated and incredible Espanol fans. You know, I, I imagine many of them, um, it's a dream to be able to work for the team, with the team, and uh, you know, be part of that. So um, that has really gotten my team excited about what they do, to see that passion and that, that you know, if, if we can have that impact, the excitement with them, that we may be able to help implement changes, make recommendations, and help evolve the team or the, the organization as an entertainment um, you know, uh, entertainment uh, mecca or something for the like that for the community. To help them um, modernize the, the ticketing experience, um, you know, potentially hospitality experience, um, modernize. Uh, their, their business model. Hopefully we can have some impact. I don't think we're going to change the team. Uh, we're not going to bring something and you know, we, we certainly don't think we're smarter than anybody else that's been in this, in this business for so long, but we hope that we can make incremental small changes that, uh, that, that'll have a major impact. Um, we hope to um, include some new uh, VIP experiential type packages, um, you know, bring the fans closer to the action, um, and, and um, you know, we've done this with uh, uh, our hospitality packages for uh, boxing and MMA, um, you know, we've had, uh, um, you know, experiences with the boxers, meet and greet, but uh, also uh, in the ring warm up with the boxers, um, uh, you know, the, the, the um, autograph uh, boxing gloves, you know, uh, pre-game entrance to the, the arena and, and even a sparring match you know, the day of, day before. Uh, maybe there's something similar we can do with Espanol and the team, but you know, as I said, we're gonna learn a lot first, see what, uh, what, we, what we know and what we can apply, and uh, then we'll make recommendations after a, after a bit. Starting with a ticketing experience, so the, the minute the fan buys a ticket, that's, that's where the engagement starts and uh, we hope to streamline that. Um, you know, when we're uh, developing programs code, we look at keystrokes, we look at the customer experience and you know, what's the quickest way to get there, but also the most enjoyable way, um, you know, getting into the stadium, how, how that, uh, that evolves. Um, you know, does, does it mean mobile ticketing on their phones or whether there's a physical ticket? All these things are, are on the table. So the short term is, is learn, I'd say first. And then the, the, the next stage and longer term is to start to see what we can tinker with and what we can, you know, what we can do and recommend to uh, you know, evolve that experience for the fan.